here with you today. Welcome to today's presentation of Training Rocks. Today we have the nice folks from Arosti with us to go over their presentation of what is Arosti, a different type of physical therapy. I also have in the room with me Claudine, our benefit specialist. I'm going to turn it over to her to get the show kicked off. Buddy. Thanks, Chief Lambert. I appreciate um, taking time to record this webinar for us today. So um, just briefly, I did want to let you know that um, I've used Durasi on several occasions now um, to fix a few things that have gone wrong with me, and I found it to be um, a very cost-effective treatment method. Um, their goal is to get you in and out pretty quickly, so that only um, not only saves you time, it definitely saves you money. Um, and the techniques that you learn when you're undergoing the treatment help you prevent relapse, at least from my perspective. Um, so I'm very grateful that we have this and that we can offer it to you. Um, again, um, we've had it in our network previously, and um, since we've moved to Anthem, we've been working to get this in our network again. So um, if you have any questions that can't be answered today during um, this webinar uh, that uh, revolve around our benefits and the cost, uh, just send me an email. It's Claudine at, um, or C. Cloutier at alphamoral.org. Uh, and I'll be happy to respond to your uh, questions. So uh, I think I will stop talking now, and I will introduce the Arasti team. Uh, we're starting off with um, Chris Beach. Uh, so take it away. Thank you. Well, thank you all for joining us here on the uh, webinar. I'm Chris Beach. I'm the uh, Director of Business Development for Arasti in Virginia, and I also have one of our great treatment teams with us. We have Dr. Getchen, also known as Getty, is our uh, treatment team lead here in Charlottesville, and he works very closely with our recovery specialist, and that is Vincent Nolasco. Thank you all for joining us both. Um, so your first slide is, what is a Rosti? Well, most people have a great deal of difficulty even pronouncing that, but uh, we're going to say it enough so that you'll get it down pat. And a Rosti is actually an acronym for the and the acronym stands for Applied Integration for the Rapid Recovery of Soft Tissue Injuries. And knowing that you all are with the department that uh, loves probably to use acronyms as well, hopefully you'll remember that anytime that you have a soft tissue injury. So what is Arosti? Arosti is a healthcare group, and we take a patient-centered approach to musculoskeletal care. Um, and musculoskeletal care is often a word that uh, causes people to stumble even being able to say it, but uh, we often go by the um, acronym of MSK for musculoskeletal care. The easiest way to tell you what musculoskeletal care is, is that if you are able to strain it or sprain it, then that's something that we can typically fix, and that is uh, dealing with the uh, the soft tissue. And soft tissue is musculoskeletal. Um, if you break it, fracture it, or tear it, that's not a uh, situation that we can work on for you. Uh, but our patient-centered approach to MSK or musculoskeletal injuries leads to resolution of your injury and just three to four visits as opposed to your traditional approach to care. So going to the next slide, what is musculoskeletal injuries or MSK injuries? Great example is on the, uh, the muscle person here. Um, things like uh, carpal tunnel, um, you can have tennis elbow, you can have headaches, tension headaches, sometimes migraines, plantar fasciitis, low back pain, just some examples of musculoskeletal injury. So going to the next slide, um, why do the traditional care options fail? And they don't always fail, but sometimes they do fail. Part of the reason is the limited amount of time that the physician is able to spend with you. Uh, the typical average visit now is about 13 minutes. And you can only probably think this through and realize that 13 minutes just isn't enough time to accurately diagnose and understand what the injury is. Um, and then there's the use of pharmaceuticals. 
we often prescribe pharmaceuticals first as opposed to finding out what the injury is and what the most effective way is to deal with it. That then leads to masking of the condition and what the underlying issue is. But the next thing is that the, uh, the lack of um, uh, following the clinical guidelines, and these are well-published guidelines, but it really comes back to the amount of time that is allowed uh, for one-on-one -on -one time with the patient. And then it also parlays into the transaction-based care, meaning that, okay, I need to see X number of patients in a given hour in order to be able to, you know, viably run this office. Um, but lastly, the other component that people are just now starting to pay attention to, and that is the outcome of the treatments that they are being given. So those are why some of the other pathways of care don't always work. With Orosti, we start out with strict provider vetting. And what that means is that uh, when a provider wants to come on board with Orosti, we spend a great deal of time making sure that they're going to be a good fit for Orosti and also for our patients. Uh, to let you know uh, how strict it is, roughly 12 to 15 percent of providers that uh, apply to come on board make it through the process and actually become an Arasti provider. But once that happens, once they come on board, we then spend two months training them in these clinical pathways, these approaches where the same uh, pathway to fixing your injury is applied time and again, every time. Uh, regardless of where you are, what office you are, what provider you are, we're approaching this injury, those specific injuries, in the same way every time. And we are also measuring the outcomes, meaning that if we see that something is not working in the normal uh, number of visits, then we are aware of it and we really focus in to find out what is going on. So we're, we're providing oversight and guidance to our providers in case they need some additional assistance there. What really makes a difference though is, is the skill of our providers. First off, they get a, an hour with you. That first visit is a thorough evaluation of your injury and there's a lot of function-based uh, testing that occurs there, and a lot of conversation as to, you know, how did you get to this point? Because it just typically doesn't always happen where your injury is a sudden onset, unless you're involved in an accident of some type. But that one-on-one -on -one hour of care is very important to providing you the best outcomes possible. So our providers do give you that, that evaluation, making sure that we have diagnosed your injury correctly. And then lastly is the measuring the outcomes. We start by measuring the moment you walk into our provider's office. And then at the end of every visit, every visit that you come in, you're assessed and we talk to you and find out how you are improving, and we do some testing. And then at the end of every visit, you're given um, a brief survey of questions to also help us measure how you are doing. So we are taking care of the entire picture from end to end. So when you come in to the office, uh, you get a thorough assessment. Now, since I am not an actual provider, I felt that it would be better to turn this over to Dr. Getkin, to tell you how he goes about assessing and diagnosing what your injury is. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, yeah, I'm Dr. Getkin. I, I get to work with uh, Rasta Rehab Center. And one of the big things uh, as far as assessment and diagnosis, uh, when it comes down to how do we actually deliver the results that we do, which are Pretty astounding. Uh, it, it comes down to finding and locating the actual cause of somebody's pain. Um, you know, where, pardon the pun for the uh, fire guys, but where there's uh, where there's smoke, there isn't always fire. Uh, I think that's how that works. <laughs> um, 
But um, where you may be feeling your pain, like an elbow, like a knee, can actually come from a hip, a shoulder, your restricted ankle range of motion. And so really, you know, it, Chris is right, it takes a lot more than 13 minutes to, you know, properly assess an injury and properly um, diagnose and also be able to work on how we can correct these problems. Uh, you know, when it comes down to the first 30 minutes, you know, we're, we're going to be able to go in and really assess where the pain is coming from, what you do in your day-to-day -day life, and really give you a realistic expectation of what to expect with care. Uh, so, uh, to, to interject here, one of the things that uh, I had mentioned early on is the clinical guidelines and the conservative pathways for this type of care uh, doesn't start out with giving you imaging and injections. And Dr. Getkins and all of our providers' approaches, we make sure that we have properly assessed you doing functional um, uh, movement, exercise, uh, what's the proper terminology for that? Um, biomechanical assessments. Biomechanical assessments. And then uh, we determine from there what the proper approach is going to be. And the reason that we hire the type of providers that we hire is because they are uh, very accustomed to doing what is called a manual therapy approach. So this manual therapy approach is uh, what is very important as a part of getting you better. It's a very hands-on approach, and this is why we hire um, the types of providers that we do, which are typically doctors of chiropractic or physical therapists. And it's because they understand this manual therapy approach better than most other providers. So, uh, Dr. Getkin, do you want to give them just a quick summary of what your man manual therapy is like, let's say on the first visit? Uh, definitely on the first visit, my, my, my go-to after we've gone through that assessment, um, when there's a little bit of time left, I, I really focus on getting joints to move properly. Uh, one of the big things is, is, you know, if you talk to somebody who's been to a Rossi, it is uncomfortable. That shouldn't, uh, that's not a bad thing. Um, our, it, it is very gentle though. That's one of those things. So when we really dive into the most injured tissue in your body, it is going to be a lot more sensitive. So yeah, we can specifically see where we need to treat through our assessment, and then with the very specific manual therapy, it's not uh, it's not very comfortable, but at the same time, you're gonna be able to get off the table, and we expect you to be able to move with less pain and into a better range of motion. Yes, that's, uh, that's exactly right. So your first visit, it, you should see um, a noticeable difference in, in your pain level and also in your mobility. Um, and that's a, uh, that's a hallmark of our first visit. But uh, after Dr. Getkin or one of our providers has provided that specific manual therapy for you, uh, then you get to work with our recovery specialist. And here in Charlottesville, it is uh, Vincent. And so what Vincent does um, is the active care portion of your visit. And not to steal any of this thunder, I'm going to let uh, Vincent tell us what exactly he does for you in that uh, second part of the visit. All right, good afternoon, everybody. So, um, like Dr. Getkin was saying, that first half of the appointment is going to be mainly that manual therapy and assessment to see uh, what the cause of the injury is. And then, um, after that, the second half of your appointment uh, is even more important than what goes on in that first room. You're going to get the tools to really uh, keep that injury from coming back and to get better a lot more quickly. So uh, we can't emphasize how important it is to uh, do your rehab exercises that we're going to give you um, on a daily basis. That way it can really complement the treatment that goes on uh, with each and every appointment. So um, going through that, uh, we like to give you some very specific exercises. We don't give you a very big list of exercises, not a big laundry list if you've ever done physical therapy before and you have all these exercises that you need to do. Uh, 
uh, after each appointment, we give you a select few that are very impactful. So it shouldn't take you too much out of your day to do, so it's pretty easy, easy, easy to accomplish, especially to get out of pain more quickly. Um, so we'll give you some tools. Um, some will be kind of getting in and releasing that tissue that Dr. Gekin has reset. Others will be having to do with uh, strengthening the areas that haven't really been working because of that injury. So, um, so it's not, it's not like I said, uh, it shouldn't take you very long out of your day, but um, not only with that, it's going to be, you're going to be able to use this knowledge and these exercises as you go, as you go on. So um, like we've said before, usually we take about three to four visits to resolve the injury. So that's, uh, that's, that's about two weeks or so. So after you leave us, uh, you're going to be able to have the knowledge and the tools to continue to get stronger and to get more mobility so that um, you won't have that injury reoccurring. So, um, so it's a one-two punch, the manual therapy along with the active care that really makes a ROSTI a very effective treatment for any injury that you may have. Yes, absolutely. Um, and if you've never been in to see one of our treatment teams for an injury, uh, one thing that you will find is that the amount of time that you have this injury is reduced. And the studies have shown us that that amount of time that you spend with an injury is reduced 60% over the traditional care approaches. Um, it really boils down to your being actively involved in your care. The exercises and the, the stretches that uh, Vincent gives you or any of our recovery specialists give you are a very important uh, part of your recovery. And the great thing is, is not like traditional physical therapy where you're given several pages of homework to do and it could take you an hour to accomplish. Our active care exercises and stretches typically take 15 minutes or less to accomplish. And then on top of that, you have e an email that shows you the step-by-step -step, uh, approach to those exercises, and, that, and some of them even have videos associated with them. So it's very important for you to do your homework, and you will be asked about your homework at every visit. If you're not doing your homework, you're not going to get better. So who can we help? Well, um, great question chronic musculoskeletal injuries or acute. We're able to do both. And uh, we just did a quick review of um, the first uh, 60 days of patients from Albemarle County. And we found a significant number of patients that have come in to see us since we've become a covered benefit for Albemarle County uh, employees were chronic, meaning that they've had this for over a year, and we've been able to, to help them resolve it completely. Um, so if you are someone who's had the recommendation to get surgery or some other type of uh, care, we would be a good fit for you. If you are not getting long-term relief from the care that you've sought so far, we're a good fit for you. Uh, if you've gone through physical therapy completely or even partially and you're just not making the progress that you should, then I encourage you to come see us. But what's really interesting is that we've seen a lot of post-surgical uh, patients where the underlying issue has been fixed, but there's a lot of um, uh, outside issues. Like, for example, if you've had knee surgery, you're just not getting that full mobility back. Uh, you're getting, um, uh, you know, dysfunction still, just not to the level as you used to have. We are able to help you get a greater range of motion. So, of course, the, uh, the muscle person is up there again. This is just a small uh, glimpse as to the things that we can resolve for you. So I just wanted to share with you uh, what our outcomes have been. And... As we've mentioned before, we are constantly measuring our outcomes. And this helps us know that we're doing the right approach to care. But it also should talk to you. 
as to how effective we have uh, become. And we've seen over 500,000 patient cases. We're averaging 3.2 visits to injury resolution as opposed to your traditional type of care. We've had over 10,000 people avoid surgery because of seeking care with a ROSTI. And 88.6% of the patients that we're able to treat are reporting that they're fully recovered. Uh, but the number we really like is that almost 100% of our patients would re recommend us to their coworkers, to their friends, to their families. So that is just phenomenal. Uh, but what's really interesting is at the bottom there, you see that 38% of our patient cases have found their way to us after seeking care elsewhere that was not successful. Of those, we've had fully over 60% have some type of imaging, over half have been to a specialist, and over half have also received chiropractic care or physical therapy. So, um, you know, it's really breaking down into the different conditions that we're able to treat. Um, this slide is telling us that, you know, we're, we're really seeing a lot of people with back and neck injuries. And, and that tends to be what's going on across the United States. Knees and shoulders are your next uh, area that seem to have a great deal of focus, um, and even hip uh, injuries. So we're across the board on what we're able to treat, but we just tend to see more back and neck uh, cases. Um, but overall, though, we are 39% less expensive than you know, your traditional approach to care. Um, and these are the outcomes that we have been measuring, and they were current as of August of this year. So just to give you an idea of some of the advocates that we have, we have uh, professional athletes. And that's how Arasi got its start. We were treating professional athletes when our founder started the company back in 2004. And uh, we had realized that it was something that we should open up to the general uh, public and populace. Um, thankfully, we've started working with you all now, and uh, the next slide speaks to your benefits. Uh, if you're on the select plan, you would have a $25 copayment per visit, and you're allowed up to six visits uh, per person. So, uh, you know, if our numbers hold true, you won't need to come see us for six visits. Now, if you're on the choice plan, which is your high deductible health plan that's coupled with your health savings account, um, of course, as you probably already know, any care that you seek is covered um, after you've reached the deductible. So that means up to the deductible, you would be paying that out of your health savings account. So I wanted to show you, there's a little breakdown as to if you sought traditional care versus coming to a Rossi. The numbers that you see on the screen here were pulled out of Anthem for specifically musculoskeletal injuries. And those numbers pulled out of Anthem are specifically for Albemarle County. So if you were to go see a doctor, uh, and typically you start with uh, either a primary care or a specialist, and we blended the number there, it's going to be $138 that you would uh, use your health savings account money to pay for. Now, that doctor may recommend an x-ray or an MRI. On the low end, an x-ray is $81. And an MRI, if you're shopping and a good shopper, uh, you can get one here for about $1,100. One note, though, an x-ray won't show any musculoskeletal injuries. X-rays are very good at determining fractures and breaks, but they don't show the soft tissue. So if nothing shows up in that X-ray, you may be referred on to a MRI to find out what's going on. But let's say, though, that uh, uh, they do the X-ray and send you to physical therapy, and they say only 10 visits are needed. Well, 10 visits typically will run you five weeks and $720. So you're out-of-pocket costs for going to the traditional um, providers for soft tissue injuries is going to be anywhere between 900 
and almost $2,000. If you were to come to a Rosti first, uh, you should be able to get complete resolution in three to four visits without an MRI or x-ray and without physical therapy. So that your out-of-pocket cost is going to be either $675 or $900, depending on three or four visits. So our visit cost under the high deductible health plan is $225 per visit. It's a higher upfront cost, but the overall cost is dramatically lower than what you would normally pay. The, um, the other side of this coin is that it's three to four visits. Well, that should be about two weeks, maybe three tops for your taking time off to go in and see a provider. So it's gonna also save you a lot of money from um, time away from work. So just keep that in mind. But if you have any questions, when you call our patient advocate team, um, they, will they will walk you through all of this. But the nice thing is too, is that if you come in to see a Rosti uh, for an injury and we're unable to treat you, then we send you on your way and there's no charge for your visit. So it's not one of those situations where, oh gosh, I'm gonna spend $225 and not know whether I can be treated or not. If we can't treat you, we're gonna send you to where uh, the best place is for you to seek additional care. So from there, um, the Arosti app, we do have mobile functionality. Uh, it really, boils down to, we, ha we set up a portal for you once you become a patient. You can either go back in there and find the active care exercises that uh, you were given for your particular injury. You can also find locations uh, outside of the area. But on the next slide, I'll show you our two locations in this area. We have um, a Rossi here in Charlottesville, and it's over in the Pantops area. Yep, very convenient. And we also have a location in Stanton. That office will probably be moving to Fishersville in February. So keep that in mind. But um, either way, we have two locations to be able to take care of you here. And uh, um, I welcome you all to send in any questions that you may have, uh, either to Chief Lambert, to Claudine, or uh, if you want to call in to a Rossi or go on to the website, uh, you know, we're able to answer most questions. And I really do encourage you to go to the website because we do have a lot of uh, information that's in a nice, simple format. So if you had a question about plantar fasciitis, for example, you can uh, see a little video on it. You can learn more about that injury there. Um, so I want to thank our treatment team for taking time out of their schedule today for coming. Vincent, I do appreciate your being here. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? Um, no, that's it. Um, just, um, we're really excited to have um, Albemarle County back on with us. Um, and uh, we hope to see you over at the Pantops location if you have anything going on. Um, I know it's pretty busy with the holidays right now, but come 2018, uh, we'd love to get you out there and feeling a lot better um, at work, at play, with your families and everything along with that. Thank you, Vincent. Dr. Getkin? Uh, yeah, you know, obviously I'll echo Vincent, Vincent's sentiments and, and definitely we'd love to see you guys in 2018. And, you know, I think being back in with the county, the thing I was most excited about is, is really a, a lot of you guys out there um, do such a great job for us every single day being the backbone of our community and it's an honor to be able to help you guys out and and reduce your guys's pain injury and get you guys back to you know focusing on the task at hand instead of worrying about back pain foot pain or anything along those lines that you know when you're going to sit it isn't painful you know when you got to lift something it's not going to be painful so you know i'm just trying to do my little part and you know we'd love to see you guys in 2018 thanks thank you Chief Lambert, do we have any questions that have come in? Yeah, so uh, we'll take a moment, and this begins the kind of audience interaction portion of the webinar. So as we're kind of wrapping up here, if you happen to have a question for the Arosti team, uh, you, you can by all means raise your hand electronically or send me a question behind the scenes via the chat function. And I'll be more than happy to share that with the team here, and hopefully they can get you an answer. So we'll take just a few moments for you guys to think through that. 
And uh, as, as we're going through that, uh, if it, just to generate some conversation, so no uh, referral is necessary for this, right? This is just a, you have a pain, contact the office, and you don't have to be re referred by your PCP, just a, for that, certification. Thing. That is absolutely 100% 100 correct. Um, so we don't ask for referrals, nor is it required. Uh, the great thing is, though, uh, you know, we typically find out who your primary care is because we do like to communicate back with them the care that we're providing. Sure. So that's a uh, that's a good thing to do. Um, now, Doctor uh, Doctor Getkin, um, yeah. can you tell us what what your favorite uh, injury is to treat, or do you have one? Uh, you know, technically, we are supposed to be head to toe people and all that stuff, and we're very well versed. Um, you know, looking at the numbers, we, we sit right at the, uh, right a little bit below the company average from head to toe, but I, you know, I'll, to be honest, I love shoulders, elbows, and uh, knees. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love a good low back case, I love a good plantar fasciitis, but um, I have rehabbed two torn shoulder labrums myself without undergoing surgery and got treated from our great docs in Richmond and Northern Virginia, as well as uh, a rotator cuff tear. So definitely well, well versed in uh, my own uh, injuries, and, and we learn a lot when uh, we get to experiment and experience those types of things. So. Great. Awesome. Good. Well, um, seeing no questions, we'll go ahead and uh, wrap up today's presentation. On behalf of the county, I'd like to thank the Arossi team for taking time out of your day and joining us on the webinar. For those not able to attend, just uh, you can share with your peers out there. We'll be recording this and uploading this to our channel, and uh, we'll be signing off for today. We hope everyone have a safe and happy holidays, and uh, we'll see you in the next presentation. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.